Lesson 1. Concepts about Educational Technology Objectives At the end of the lesson, 100% of the students with 80% level of proficiency shall be able to a. Identify the different concepts in educational technology, and b. Give examples for each concept. Class, for today we will have a game called 1 for 3. This means that I will show you three pictures and these are only referring to one word. Are you ready class? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Here are the first three pictures. LCD, teacher. Very good. How about the next one? VHS, teacher. Very good. Another. VCD, teacher. Very good. How about the other one? URL, teacher. Fantastic. Next one. ETL, teacher. Splendid. How about this one? ICT, teacher. Okay. Very good. Now for the last one, what do you think is the answer? That is VCR, teacher. Great. Your answers are all correct. But these words are just acronyms. For the first one, what is LCD? LCD simply stands for liquid crystal display. LCD is a flat panel display or other electronic visual display that uses the light modulating properties of liquid crystals. Liquid crystals do not emit light directly. LCDs are used in a wide range of applications including computer monitors, televisions, instrument panels, aircraft cockpit displays, and signage. Yes, very good. LCD is very common especially nowadays. How about VHS? What is VHS? VHS or Video Home System is a standard for consumer level use of analog recording on videotape cassettes. Very good. And it was developed by Victor Company of Japan, JVC, in the 1970s. How about VCD? Do you have any idea what is VCD? Video CD, abbreviated as VCD, and also known as Compact Disc Digital Video, is a home video format and the first format for distributing films on standard 120mm or 4.7 inches, optical discs. Splendid. VCDs are what you use in watching your favorite movies. How about the URL? We hear it often but what is it? Teacher, URL can be Uniform Resource Locator or can also be Universal Resource Locator. The Uniform Resource Locator is a protocol for specifying addresses on the Internet. And it is also an address that identifies a particular file on the Internet, usually consisting of the protocol, as HTTP, followed by the domain name. While the Universal Resource Locator is a title that refers to the formal address of a document on the Internet. Wow! That's fantastic! Well explained! How about ETL? ETL stands for Educational Technology Laboratory. The Educational Technology Lab, or ETL is a part of the School of Education. ETL will help you with any technology needs related to teaching, research, and discovery. Very good. Our lab is well equipped with multimedia development machines and software, and devices to use in a classroom setting for teaching and research. How about ICT? We hear this often, too. But can you give us a clear definition of this? Information and Communications Technology or ICT 
refers to the use of electronic communication system which has made the sharing of information faster and more effective. Ok good. If there's a system, what else can this system provide? The system also provides the student easier and faster access to adequate materials which were formerly supplied by the teacher. Well said. Did ICT join with educational technology? Yes. ICT has converged with educational technology, so in education particularly in teaching and learning, ICT tools are being used. Very good. You mentioned a while ago the tools, what about these tools? This definition comes from Margaret Bell and Peter Ravis, Microsoft Enpart Encyclopedia 2002. ICT tools refer to the computer and its various applications like word processing, PowerPoint, Excel, Publisher, particularly the Internet and the email. Fantastic! Now, for the last one, what is VCR? The Video Cassette Recorder VCR, or Video Recorder is an electromechanical device that records analog audio and analog video from broadcast television or other source on a removable, magnetic tape video cassette, and can play back the recording. Yes, very good. In the year 1980s, VCR was superseded by the DVD player. Based on your observation, what is common with the LCD, VHS, VCD, URL, ETL, ICT, and VCR? These are all related to technology, teacher. Good. Is technology applicable to education? Yes, teacher. The application of technology in education or its different concepts will be our discussion for today. There are different concepts of technology. One is as the use of gadgets, tools or equipment to perform a task expediently and efficiently. What is meant by this? It is knowing, making, modifying, and using of tools, machines, techniques, crafts, systems, and methods of organization, in order to solve a problem, improve a pre-existing solution to a problem, achieve a goal, handle an applied input, output relation or perform a specific function. Very good. So how do we use these? In school, students use their cell phones to tell their parents that they will come home late because they will practice for a play to be shown during the school's foundation day. The gadget, which is a cell phone, allows communication to reach the target faster and smoother. Very good. Another? A teacher can ask her students to inform her about their progress in the class through email, which both the teacher and students can readily access. Yes, very good. We can also do that in our class. Another? A student uses a printer to get a copy of his paper to be submitted to the teacher easily and neatly. Yes, that's very good example. What else? Another student can send his paper via electronic mail to the teacher to meet the deadline for submission. Splendid! We can now proceed to the next concept of technology. What is meant by technology as the collection of tools, including machinery, modifications, arrangement and procedures? This refers to reliable devices that enable one to make presentations repeatedly. Good! What are examples of these? Teachers and students show PowerPoint presentation using the computer and LCD to enhance teaching and learning. Furthermore, the PowerPoint can also be shown repeatedly so there is no need to print the presentation. Good. Another example? Other materials are digital storytelling and games which can be repeatedly used in class discussions. Digital storytelling immerses the learner into the dynamics of digital communication and self-expression. It includes a collection of photo stories and arranged sequentially to capture certain events in one's life like memorable field trip in a factory, celebrating the school's foundation day and communicating through the use of television or computer, and LCD memorable moments in a student's life like graduation, school fair and other events. Splendid! Followed by the previous concept is the other gadgets as technology. Some people need to use gadgets or tools to perform home chores faster like washing machine, 
rice cooker, hair blower, electric fan, floor polisher, electric food mixers, blenders, and grinders. Can you give me other technology related appliances? Examples of these other technology related appliances are radio, television, music player, and digital camera. These equipment entertain people through listening, watching, or documenting events. Technology is used by following process and most often desired products are obtained. Very good. What else can you give for this? A student uses a hair dryer to facilitate styling a newly shampooed hair before coming to a class. Okay good. How about in our classrooms? What do we have here? Classroom and schools are equipped with electric fans to provide a well-ventilated and convenient environment. Very good. Another? How about in students? Students use electric food mixers, blenders, and grinders in their technology and livelihood class, to produce some delicacies for sale. Production becomes fast and efficient and the entrepreneurial activity resulting from the product results to a good realization of fast production efficient time management, and a gainful profit yield. Yes, very good. What else for the students? Student gatherings are made more memorable and happier with the use of music players, amplifiers, digital cameras, televisions, and microphones. Yes, very good. Aside from the two concepts, another concept is the teacher as a technology. After describing some gadgets associated with technology, one very important technology asset is the teacher. What do you think is her role? The teacher facilitates learning through the use of varied instructional materials like the books, the blackboard, magazines, newspapers, library materials and visual aids. Furthermore, the teacher creates situations through the use of a repertoire of teaching methods and strategies to facilitate learning. A number of theories of learning are applied by the teacher as well as repeated practices, monitoring, and evaluation of instruction to make sure that students will learn. Well said. Very nice. All the teacher's effort and creativity in teaching are considered technology. Another example of the teacher as a technology? The teacher uses visual technology, verbal technology, sound technology, and manipulative technology. These technologies cater to the use of the senses to enhance perception and grasp knowledge among students. Very well said. Good answer. Any other examples? The teacher uses gadgets and tools to make learning fast, efficient and effective. The teacher uses many teaching aids such as real objects, realias, pictures, show cards, charts, bulletin board, blackboard and chalk, handouts, workbooks, practice exercises, audiovisual materials like radio, tape recorder, tape, and videotapes in introducing new lessons. The teacher shows videotapes about natural occurrence like erupting volcano, stages in the growth of a plant life cycle of a butterfly, and many more when giving lecture and conducting class discussions about the lessons. A very good answer. Yes, aside from that, the teacher also develops modules for students learning depending upon the ability levels. Modules are also used for individualized study or independent activity when the teacher is unable to meet the class due to suspension of classes. While in evaluating the students, the teacher may use rating scale, scorecard, checklist, tests, and rubrics. These materials can be presented using a blackboard, handouts, paper and pencil tests, printed rubrics, or PowerPoint presentation. There is a need to change from the traditional roles of technology as teacher to technology as partner in the learning process. Earlier, it was believed that students cannot learn from technology. On the other hand, technology can support meaning making by students. This will happen when students learn with technology. To realize this, there are certain assumptions about technology. Can you give me one? Technology is more than a hardware. It is made up of any reliable technique or method of engaging learning, such as cognitive learning strategies and critical thinking. 
very good. An example of this is the use of metaphor. For example, if you are an insect, which insect would you like to be? A student may answer, a firefly. Then the teacher will ask why. The students will say so I can give light to others. Or the student may answer, a butterfly. The teacher will ask the same question, why? And the student's response to this question is, so I can enjoy the colorful wings. Another assumption? Learning technologies can be any environment or definable set of activities that engage learners in active, constructive, intentional, and authentic learning. Yes, very good. Technology can be introduced in a form of a game. There is a game called Getting to Know You Game. Yes, teacher. In this game, students are given time to go around the room and fill in the squares with names by asking their classmates the items written in the squares. The first student to finish writing all the data will be the winner. This game enables the students to conduct purpose of inquiry and at the same time know their classmates more. Exactly. Very good. This game is best given at the beginning of the class or semester. So now, let us proceed to another assumption about technology. Can you give me another? Technologies are not simply conveyors or communicators of meaning but they can also serve as resource materials for reflection and other thinking skills. To give you an example of that, the students may surf information from the computer but they should be asked to give their own understanding by clarifying, illustrating, classifying, summarizing, inferring, comparing or explaining. Wow! That's very fantastic! The students can download researches about learning styles as well as questionnaires about learning styles. In this case, they undertake activities as a result of downloading materials from the computer learning styles by downloading. How about assumption wherein the technologies support learning? When is that possible? Technologies support learning when they fulfill a learning need. For example, students can download sample rubrics to enable them to create their own rubric. Very good. Another example of technologies that support learning. Interactions with technologies are learner-initiated and learner-controlled. As for example, the students develop PowerPoint presentation to make a clear and interesting report within a given time limit. When slides are presented, the classmates can easily understand the ideas being presented. Very good example. This means that students or learners are still the controllers of technology. Another assumption from the class? Interactions with technologies are conceptually and intellectually engaging. For example, the students create diagrams to show relationships between two variables in presenting frameworks like achievement in algebra is significantly related to achievement in mathematics. Very good example. This means that when the achievement in algebra is high, achievement in mathematics is also high. What should be the function of technologies? Will you give us another assumption? Technologies should function as intellectual toolkits that enable learners to build more meaningful personal interpretations and representations of the world. These toolkits must support the intellectual functions that are required by a course of study. An example of this is the computer programs like word processing provides the user with toolkits like speller, thesaurus, grammar checker, download of varied information, and many other tools which help the students in their research, paper presentation, games, animation, using of colors, fonts, pictures, and desktop publishing. Very good. And now, we only have one assumption left. What do you think is this? Learners and technologies should be intellectual partners in the learning process, where cognitive responsibility for performing is distributed to the part of the partnership that performs it the best. Technology tools like laptops serves as a study gadget and partners of students. For example, many students have laptops, which serve as a technological partner in their studies. 
They also make materials using the different toolkits to facilitate the preparation of schoolwork in the different subjects of their courses. Very good. So now, we can have a group activity. I will divide you into four and you have to give examples for each concept that we discussed. Is that clear class? Yes, teacher. What did you learn today class? Teacher, I learned that there are four different concepts of technology. Very good. So can you name these concepts? Teacher, the four concepts that we discussed for today are technology as the use of gadgets, tools, or equipment to perform a task expediently and efficiently, technology as the collection of tools, including machinery, modifications, arrangement and procedures, other gadgets as technology, and the last one is the teacher as technology. Fantastic! What is all about the first concept? Teacher, the first concept talks about the knowing, using of tools, machines, techniques, crafts, systems, and methods of organization, in order to solve a problem, improve a pre-existing solution to a problem, achieve a goal, handle an applied input, output relation or perform a specific function. Good. How about the second concept? The second concept refers to the reliable devices that enable one to make presentations repeatedly. The second concept refers to the reliable devices that enable one to make presentations repeatedly. Good. And for the third concept? Teacher. The third concept which is other gadgets as technology, as the title suggests, some people need to use gadgets or tools to perform home chores faster like the washing machine and rice cooker. Other technology related appliances like radio and television help to entertain people through listening and watching. Wow! Very good explanation. How about the last concept of technology? Teacher. For the last concept which is the teacher as a technology, as what the title also suggests, this is so because the teacher facilitates learning through the U.S. of varied instructional materials like the books, the blackboard, magazines, newspaper, library materials, and visual aids. Teacher, in addition to that, the teacher also creates situations through the use of a repertoire of teaching methods and strategies to facilitate learning. Wow! Very good ideas. With that, let us now have another activity. Get a half sheet of paper for this activity, indicate the concept that is being cited through the given examples or situations. Write use of gadgets for the first concept, collection of tools for the second concept, other gadgets for the third concept, and teacher tech for the fourth concept. 1. A student uses a printer to get a copy of his paper to be submitted to the teacher easily and neatly. Two, a student uses hair dryer to facilitate a styling and newly shampooed hair before coming to class. Three, the teacher uses visual technology, verbal technology, sound technology, and manipulative technology. Four. Teachers and students use PowerPoint presentation using the computer and LCD to enhance teaching and learning. 5. Classroom and schools are equipped with electric fans to provide a well-ventilated and convenient environment. 1. Use of gadgets. 2. Other gadgets. 3. Teacher tech. 4. Collection of tools. 5. Other gadgets. And this is for your take home gift. Create a game from the given assumptions about technology that are agreed upon. You can choose only one assumption and create a game of the assumption of your choice. Send the mechanics of the game in our Facebook page.
Spelling activity using body movements. Spell the word L-O-V-E by using your arms, legs, and body. Picture of body spelling the following letters. The students may try spelling other words using their body parts. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, teacher.